New information is helping loved ones search for the rest of a Milwaukee woman's body one day after prosecutors charged a man with killing her. Fox 6's Durante Matthews joins us in studio to show us where that search is now focused. That's right, Bill. Loved ones of 19-year-old Shade Robinson now know all of the places where her phone was the night police say she was killed. The family tells me finding the rest of her body is now a matter of closure. It's becoming more critical to leave no stone unturned. We need to find our cousin, our family, so that she can have a proper burial. The search to find the rest of 19-year-old Shade Robinson's body weighs heavily on families' heads and hearts. we we'll never be at peace if we can't find her. More than two dozen people got together Saturday looking in places police say Shade's phone was when police believe she was killed, including Warnemont Park in Cudahy. It's where Shade's leg was found. We're just really playing it by ear searching areas that we think he may have gone, train tracks or bridges by his home. Prosecutors charged 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson on Friday with killing Robinson, dismembering her body and setting her car on fire. Her family watched Anderson through glass at his court appearance Friday. This sick son of a is going to pay. This is justice for Sade. Who the would do something like this to my beautiful baby? Family says they don't know how the two met. Investigators say the two went to dinner at a Menominee Valley bar and restaurant and then went to a Water Street bar the night she was last heard from on April 1st. Everybody know where the playground at? Back at Warnemont Park Saturday afternoon, Sade's friend says he came from Minnesota to join the search. I could just see the hurt in her family's eyes and that hurt me to the deepest part of my heart and I want to bring them justice as well. He says helping to find her remains will help with closure. Sade, she was a very sweet and compassionate girl. I think she deserves justice. Justice that is yet to be found. The family tells me they're going to continue their searches across the county. Anderson remains jailed on a $5 million cash bond. He's due back in court later this month. Bill.